What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Wintel wildcard, Coutinho, to review and it's a player that simply looks amazing but also look at that dynamic image. I actually really enjoy the dynamic image and how quick they put that image onto the card kind of surprised me because it takes quite a while for them to do it usually. It takes them like an hour to then put the dynamic image but this one was actually instant. Either way, the stats, 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, 86 passing with a 68 physicals as well. Looking like a top tier card, especially with his five star skill means his four star weak foot and his high medium work rates. Now, if we are just simply comparing him to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus 18 to his pace a plus one only a plus one to the dribbling a plus seven to the shooting a plus six to the passing a plus nine to the physicals and a plus three to the defending as well now when it comes down to the chem style you obviously can clearly see the 82 sprint speed on the card and that is never ever going to be great for a player like Coutinho especially when you are playing him in a cam position so you want to go for the hunter chem style giving him 99 acceleration and 92 sprint speed now his shooting ability is also looking top tier with the hunter chem style applied he's got 92 attacking positioning 92 uh, finishing 94 shot power 94 long shots 99 volleys with the 86 penalties as well now he hasn't got both shooting traits like your boy Fakir but he has got the outside foot shot trait which is still a very good shooting trait this year now the passing ability it's not looking like anything crazy is it like the passing looks very nice for a cam but we're not talking about like a kdb kind of passing with like the 90 pluses you know but there's some nice passing stats there still you got 88 vision you got 86 short passing 83 long passing 97 curve 92 freaky accuracy with the 84 crossing as well now the dribbling ability this is the thing right you look at the reactions and you're thinking to yourself, okay, the reactions might be a slight bit of an issue, but it is a certain individual, aka your boy player of the month, Vinny, which has got 80 reactions. And we all know, we all know how he feels on the ball. So I'm expecting Coutinho's reactions not really to come in play too much, but hopefully he'll feel amazing on the ball. Now the physicals, the thing that I have noticed is the fact that they have upgraded the stamina by a plus 11 and that right there is a huge W from EA because if they let's say just gave it like a plus 5 going up to like 79 stamina that would have that hurt, that would have hurt so much because like especially in a cam position 79 stamina it isn't the greatest but 85 stamina is very good. Now he also has got 60 strength with a 68 aggression which obviously isn't the greatest but we all know Coutinho he isn't the most physical of players so He's not really going to be using that strength very often. Now, when it comes down to the links, come on. He gets a strong link with Dembele. He gets a strong link with your boy Vinny play of the month, which I know a lot of you guys have actually got it. You also get like weak links with Lorente and a weak link with Alaba and your boy Ferlan Mendy as well. So yeah, the links, top, top tier. Now the positions, I am going to be playing Coutinho in two positions. I am going to be playing this guy in a cam position and I'm also going to be playing this guy in a striker position as well. So the formations I will be using is the 4-4-2 and the 4-2-3-1. So let's get into their games and let's see how good this Coutinho card is going to be. Go for Lorente. you got plenty of space to run into. Let's pass it down to Coutinho now. Good touch. Nice acceleration. We're going to go with full finish just to start it off because he has got really good long shots. So we definitely need to give those a go. But Neuer ends up saving it. I'm just going to ball roll scoop this. Hopefully give it to Coutinho. He actually didn't come short there. And we are playing him in a cam position. But that's a very good touch. Hit him with a flip flap. Shot cancel the keeper. Referee penalty. Surely. I was about to say for a second I thought he wasn't going to give it. Now... I'm not even going to lie to you guys. We got so lucky. So lucky to come out of that ball. I don't know how we got this opportunity, but we'll take it. Come on, man. Coutinho is stepping up to the plate. I can't remember where his pens are. Where is it? 86 penalties to his game. You best believe there's going to be only one side we're going to go into. Coutinho's... He's very central, isn't he? Oh, he's got one of those slow run-ups. You know what? I hate that run-up. I think Neymar has got that as well. It's weird because it's hard to time it. Vinny played that ball quickly to Mbappe. Play it quick. There you go. We'll roll that. Nice. Can I use that paces against Upper Meccano? You know what? We're going to shoot early. Just to see how good of a shot is going to be. We did green time it, but once again, Neuer has pulled out a nice save. Fight for it. There you go. We'll play to get in front of De Jong. Green time it. It's going to be a finesse shot and it goes side netting. It didn't go top corner, which is something I was actually expecting. But as long as it goes in, I'm always going to be happy. I am definitely noticing his movement and he is a very aggressive cam. Like look at him right now. He's still playing in a cam position and because Mbappe's not up there, 
he decides he wants to be the striker. Now, I don't really mind that because we can pull out something like that. Like, look at this skill move into the beautiful touch into a left-footed shot. Like, look at that side netting. The keeper ain't got a shot. Just play that back. There you go. I could actually through ball uh, my boy Mbappe there. But you know what? We're going to keep it going. Just see how he feels on the ball. Nice little turn. I like his skill moves. The skill moves definitely do come off very nicely with the card. Like, you can tell it's smooth. Pass it down. Coutinho giving me a nice option. Really good turn. We'll roll to a scoop. Beautiful. Can I get that shot across? Not across scroll, sorry. Near post. I can't. And I'm trying to create an angle. But the defender does well to put in a tackle. I'm going to go for an early cut in. Coutinho, you're going to give me an option? No, he is not, man. You see what I mean about how aggressive he is? It's like when we get near my opponent's box, this guy wants to make a run. I look at him. He sees the gap. Make that run. Well played. Can I maybe... Oh, I was going to hit that back stick, but I'm going to see if I can pull off a skill move. And if Coutinho goes down there, that's a penalty. This is literally like the last second of the game. Is anyone going to be on the edge of the box? I see Mbappe. Look at Coutinho once again, chilling inside the box. Like, what am I seeing? Right there, I kind of want him to go for a cutback. Give me that passing option. But I'm telling you, this Coutinho card, as soon as I get around the 18 yard, he wants to be inside the box. He wants to be that person that scores the goal. Well, play Lorente. Coutinho dropping deep this time to actually give me a nice option. Look at that foot skill move. No, I tried to ball roll scoot around that player, but it doesn't really work out. Can we get a goal though? Finesse, green timed. It ends up hitting the crossbar, but look at Mbappe's finish. Gonna see if I can maybe just play a ball all the way to the other side here. And Coutinho does so well. And I've just realized I'm apparently playing up against two people. Fake shot that. That's a great turn. Good uh, passing option by Coutinho as well. Good use of pace. Keep it going. Just pass across this guy. Uh, not this guy, both of them. I think just went for a random slide tackle just to see if he could actually catch up, but they couldn't. I'm just going to driven that. There you go. Well played for Coutinho to actually get in front of the player as well. Nice skill move. You can definitely tell, like, the skill moves and just dribbling in general isn't as good as someone like Vinny, isn't as good as someone like Neymar, but it definitely does still feel really nice. I need to pass back here. This guy's bringing out two players towards me. There you go. That's a good chip. Good turn as well. Great acceleration. Hard angle. Green timed. And that is not a finish. I was expecting from someone that's got his kind of finishing stats. I was expecting that to at least get on target. Is anyone going to make a run? Vinny, I do see that you're kind of open. But I also see Lorente's open. I'm going to go for a fake shot here. Kai back to Coutinho. And we're going to go for it. Come on, man. Please. Oh, there you go. There's the long shot we have been waiting for. Turn out Dembele. No. It kind of worked out for the best, though. That's a good pass. Chip over. Coutinho with an amazing run. We're going to hit it on a first time volley. And it looks like. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. All right. How we've got a goal there? Oh, no. No, literally never understand. But we will take it. But I think Coutinho didn't actually make contact on the ball there. I'm pretty sure the player tackled. But it was still a good run from him. Give that into the middle to Coutinho. Ball rolled out again. I'm going to go for one of these passes. This is with his weaker foot. And it's still a very good pass. And look where he is. Look how fast he was. To actually recover, get himself inside the box, give me a passing option. Yes, once again, we got a little bit lucky with a rebound, but what a finish. Good then, Mbappe. Just keep it going. Play that through to Awa. Good touches. Play that up to Coutinho. Here with the Elastigo to get the angle, to use the outside foot shot trait. And I really doubt Coutinho is going to miss an opportunity like that. Mbappe turn. Driven pass that into Coutinho. Not the greatest touch, not going to lie. But he's done well. Nice elastico, double bull roll, triple bull roll. Nah, if the triple bull roll came off, that would have been so nice. Chip it as well. Please go in. Nah, we're trying too much. We are trying way, way too much. I'm just going to play a free ball into the mid there. Is he going to make that run? He saw it. Kind of late, but he still saw it. Go for a bull roll here. Good touches and turns. Bull roll scoop. Is he going to come towards me? He is. And I've made myself an angle to go for the finesse shot. I've never seen that. I literally, I like, I yellow timed it, okay? So I don't expect it to go in, but I don't expect Lloris to literally tap it onto the crossbar. Have I not switched formation? I haven't, but we're still good. Coutinho is forward. Lorente is trying to make a run there. I see an over top through ball though. Go on, Dembele. Go on. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot at all. Imagine this goes in. No way, right? No way, right? Oh, what? What? No. Is it? Am I playing FIFA 19? Why is he just scored? Give it to the edge. There you go. Coutinho. Just keep it calm. This guy's kind of marking the passing lanes and he's not 
passing Coutinho. We go for that shot cancel round the keeper, and he's never going to miss from there. Boost into pace. There you go. You see that quick burst of pace? That right there is something that you can do over and over again to get round defenders. Can he get round to Yerni, the new card? He kind of can. He does well to actually recover, though. Can we get around him? Yes, we can. Shot cancel that. No, I red timed it. No, I red timed it. I doubt even if I green timed it, though, it would have gone in because there was a lot of bodies in the way. Scoop turn that. Can I use your pace? Yes, I can. Keep it going. We're just going to go for a normal power shot. It's going to be a cross goal. Martinez with a very questionable, very questionable save. And we just end up getting the goal. I'm going to McGeady spin that. There you go, man. Keep it going. Keep it going. Once he is in front of the play, you can tell he does use the strength an okay amount. It's just when it comes down to like contact to contact situations, you know, shoulder to shoulder, that's when you can really tell Coutinho's strength is not that great. So it is time to review and we ended up playing six games with Coutinho, not seven like it shows right there. We scored eight goals and we also came out with a single assist as well. What can I say? Honestly, what can I say? Like the volley we scored, <laughs> I mean, I understand, 99 volleys, he's got 94 shot power as well, but I was not expecting to score a goal like that. We were shooting on this guy's left foot as well, we was obviously shooting on this guy's stronger foot. His finishing ability inside the box were very good, it's just, there was definitely certain occasions that I thought he was going to do slightly better in, where he kind of missed the whole target, let's say, but I guess that happens time to time with any player. You're always going to get that from a player like Mbappe as well, you're always going to get that from a player like CR7 as well, so... It is what it is at the end of the day. We all know shooting in this game isn't the most consistent thing. So if he misses, a, let's say, a decent opportunity time to time, you understand it's obviously not Coutinho and it is obviously the game. But yeah, the shooting ability, it definitely was nice. The passing ability, it wasn't anything incredible. It's the passing you expect when looking at the stats, right? You expect it to be good and that's exactly what it was. The dribbling ability, the skill moves came off very, very nicely. You can definitely tell his dribbling ability isn't as good as someone like Vinny. It isn't as good as someone like Dembele or Neymar but his dribbling with it he is still still very good and his skill moves do come off very clean now his pace as well was something that I was really happy about because you could take a touch go for an instant turn go for an acceleration through the gap and trust me trust me I did it multiple times a defender is not going to catch up to you so yeah the Hunter Kem style I definitely do feel like it's the way to go especially with how aggressive he is in that cam position he's going to need that pace he's going to need that pace to get him behind and get away from the defenders the only real thing I would say that I can complain a little bit about is the strength which we're expecting him to not be a strong player like anyway right we're not expecting him to go up to someone and completely push someone off the ball like a player like Fakir would let's say with him having 60 strength I definitely did notice it in some areas it's just there was other areas where I noticed once he got in front of the player he would actually do well to hold off the player with that 60 strength now the thing is right the card is going for around 200k 200k is a lot of coins it is a lot of coins now the thing is right it's kind of understandable with the ability he has and especially the links he gets as well. He gets a strong link with Dembele. He gets a strong link with your boy player of the month Vinny or just Vinny in general, let's say. So I definitely do believe 200k is worth it. But if you are sitting there with Fakir and you're obviously happy with Fakir in that cam position, then obviously don't get Coutinho because there's no need to spend 200k on an untradeable player, which you'll never ever get your coins back, right? It's just... If you like the skill moves going forward and you, I want to say need the skill moves, you just like enjoy it like me, I definitely do believe Coutinho will 100% be a better option for you. Now, where would I say Coutinho goes in the tier list? I mean, Fakir's in the S tier, so will you best believe Coutinho is going to go into the S tier as well? It's just the skill moves. The skill moves, skill, as skill moves, honestly, they come off so nicely with him. You can tell it feels natural. You can tell once doing a skill move, you can stop the ball instantly and then go ahead and do another one. It's not like you do a skill move and then the ball just travels a little bit too far away and next thing you know, you lost it. He is not that kind of player. So yeah, S tier for my boy Coutinho. But I hope you guys obviously did enjoy the review. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.